I mentioned that our journals have good impact factors, and this is an, if you look at the average impact factor of all of the RSC journals, um, it's equivalent to that of the ACS. And I think the important thing that you can see here from this slide is that the RSC and the ACS, American Chemical Society, are both society publishers. So we are um, publishers where we really work for the members of the community and of the society. And you can see how that is reflected in the quality of the research that we publish ahead of the commercial publishers, Elsevier and Wiley, and then Taylor and Francis Springer and some others. So it really does pay to choose a society publisher to publish your research. Um, just to give you an idea of some of our impact factors, ChemCom, which is our um, general chemistry communications journal, has an impact factor of 5.5. Jazz this year is 3.4, and I know Mate has been looking at how we expect it to move next year, and we're expecting to see, we, fingers crossed, nice increase. So do keep an eye on the new figures that come out next June. Similarly for Analyst, is 3.27. Lab on a chip, which looks at uh, microfluidics and other um, work on chips, um, 6.34, and Journal of Environmental Monitoring, which you might be familiar with and also publishes quite a lot of time spectrometry in an environmental context, uh, is 2.23. We have been really pleased over the past number of years at the RSC to be able to expand the number of journals that we publish because it's very important to us that everybody who would choose to publish in an RSC journal has the opportunity to do so. And in order to allow people to do this, we have launched 10 new journals um, since 2008. Um, the first of these was Energy and Environmental Science, which you can see here. Um, and all of our new journals are freely available online for two years um, from when they start publishing. And in some cases, if there is a lot of interest in a university, we will do everything that we can to make sure that researchers in that university are able to access the research that interests them in our journals. So I would encourage you to have a look at these. And I know May mentioned the ones that are probably more of relevance to a lot of the audience earlier as well. Um, I should mention, just before I say this, that with our new journals, we do expect them to be of very high quality. And um, the first one, Energy and Environmental Science, received its first impact factor this year of 8.5. And I think that really sets the standard um, for where we expect to see our, our journals really going towards. So, um, while here on the left you see a lovely picture of the, the bird's nest where we visited together on Sunday, um, I want to say, if how Another way that you can benefit from the RSC is do join the Chinese Chemical Society and if you are a member, make sure that you are taking advantage of the member benefits that you get from the Royal Society of Chemistry through your Chinese society, Chemical Society membership because you can access a lot of the benefits of RSC membership um, through the Chinese Chemical Society. And also to all of you to subscribe to our journals. I know that a lot of universities in China actually have very good access to our journals. Or also, always feel free to contact us and we will work with our sales colleagues to make sure that you can read the research that you're interested in. So now, I'm going to hand over to the main act because I know I'm only the warm-up. <laughs> But I'm happy with that, but sorry. Oh, Steve, you did an excellent job. Oh, thanks. You need to know why. I'll pay him later. Be because before the coffee break, she did not know that she had to present the first part of my lecture. Okay. And she did it so well. So okay. give her a big hand. Okay, so I wanted to talk with you now about how to get your work published in of course, jumps. So, first of all, I wanted to explain uh, a little bit of the outline. I will explain what editors, for instance, May is doing all the day. Then, I will explain which uh, journal you should use or choose, and then I will explain all those people who have never ever 
published any paper? Is there someone here who has never ever published a paper? Well, I have not presented this lecture anymore because you all, all know how to publish papers. So for those people who not exactly know how to write a paper, I will give some instructions. Then we can talk about what happens with your submission, about initial assessment of your papers done by the editorial office. I will explain a bit the duties of the editors and the duties of the referee and their comments. Then I will talk a bit about acceptance and at the end we can talk about questions uh, if you have some questions related to how to publish your work. So, what does an editor do? Make can answer this question much better than I can do. Their key role in the publication process is that manages everything in the peer review process, from initial assessment to the final acceptance of your paper. They sometimes have to mediate between the referees and the authors if there are some uh, conflicts or some discussions about quality or about uh, some questions you do not understand if you are the authors. They also make a final decision about the publication of your paper. So, yeah, and they ensure uh, the fairness and quality and they guarantee the quality standards and finally they facilitate the publication of your work. So, first of all, you are the authors. That means you have to choose the proper journal. <coughs> you have to know that to which journal your subject or your topic fits. <coughs> so you have to select the journal and that means you need to know the scope of the journal. That means please visit the whole page of the journal first to see in which scope this journal is publishing the work. And then you have to decide if your work should go to a more specialized or to a more general journal. If you wanted to publish your work in nature or science, this is a more general journal. But if you wanted to communicate with other people working in the field, let's say ICPMS people, it's better to choose JAWS. And then papers, uh, look for papers in your research direction if they are published already in the journal. Uh, then you have to make a choice between is your publication a full paper or it's better to publish as a communication. I will explain what is the difference in JAWS between full papers and communication very soon. And then you should have also a look about impact factor. It's important for your personal career at universities or in industry. So impact factor even nowadays counts a lot. And there's another important factor, which is the immediacy index. Do you know what that is? It is an index describing how many citations you get in the first year after publications. So it is telling you how quickly other report authors pick up your ideas and cite you just after publication. And I will tell you soon that the immediacy index of JAWS is the best in all this area of atomic spectroscopy. And then you also have to choose the best publisher and also the best editorial board. I will give you more information about the JAWS editorial board soon. Okay. If you visit the whole page of the journal, you will get guidelines for the authors. So please read them properly. And then you will get information about how your article should look like. For instance, I've chosen the structure of a JAS, a typical JAS article. It should have a title. The title is the shortest version of your paper. It describes in one sentence all the work you are presenting. So choose a proper title for your work. You have to choose the authors who had contributed. So these are the authors who had done the work or had helped you writing the manuscript. 
then the abstract is giving all the informations in the short words. So all the analytical figures of marriage should have been mentioned in the abstract at the beginning already. Then there is the introductory part, which is telling people your story. You always have to tell a little story about the work you have done. For instance, Ashley had told you many beautiful stories about the Tasmanian devil and the whales and poo and so on. So you need to have a story in your introduction. <coughs> and in that story, you have to discuss also what other people have done in this area. So cite them properly. Then you are coming to the experimental section where you have to describe your experiments properly. The idea of the experimental section is you should give other authors all the information they need to repeat your experiment. And if you present only a part of all the experimental details, no one else could repeat your experiment and never would cite you anymore. Yeah? So the experimental section is very important for your paper. And then finally you have to present your results and then start with your discussion what other people can learn from your investigations and from the results. But interpret your own results and in the conclusion that you can give also uh, people a feeling for what this work was good for. So you can present your future ideas in the conclusion. And as I have mentioned already, you need to present references of other authors working in the field and you have to compare your work with the work which is done. And you have to point out the novelty of your work in comparison to the work of others. So how to write the article? I have said literature citation is an important part of your article. I have said already, tell a clear, logical and concise story. It emphasizes the novel aspects of your work. You have to do a comparison with the existing work, but you should not criticize other authors. If you start to criticize me, I will criticize your work as well. And it will never end. Yeah? So we don't start with criticism, but we start with scientific discussion. You can say, I have measured this and that, and this is one order of magnitude better than the work presented by Norbert. But if you say, I'm better ten times than Norbert, it is not fair. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay, so the word thing is very important for, if you have some criticism, how to tell people not a critical assessment of others' work, but what you did better than others do. Yeah? Okay. Um, yeah, articles. Initial assessment, what the editors look for. Once they receive the article, they first of all read your work. And this is, they assess if the work is novel and advance existing knowledge of the subject area you have chosen. And sometimes they always assess the quality if that is sufficient for the journal. Additionally, they look if your paper is within the scope of the journal, and sometimes they have to assess also if it is relevant for the readership. What does that mean? If you are presenting a very, very specialized work, and there are only two other groups in the world who are interested in your results, this is too specialized. Yeah? And it would not be good then to go to this journal because no one else will cite you because maybe the group who are working in the field are not reading the journal. Yeah? So your efforts are completely lost. 